Okay guys, in a video I made not long, so long ago, I talked about things to, that I look for in a knife and things that a knife, a bushcrafting knife, should be able to do. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about batoning specifically. Now I have talked about in the past why you should baton, why batoning is a good idea, but even if you don't fully subscribe to batoning as a whole, this is some explanation as to why I think it's a generalized good idea to practice batoning and at least hold it in your back pocket as a practice in case you need it. So the biggest reason for me is very similar and it almost goes hand in hand with feather sticking. In some conditions you may not have access to proper or adequate kindling or fire starting materials and if you don't have access to good fire starting materials you won't be able to get a fire realistically off the ground and going therefore you won't be able to cook food stay warm have light all those kinds of quality of life improvements that a fire offers so batoning becomes useful in that regard that it can be a supplementary uh, way to manufacture uh, it can be a supplementary way to manufacture uh, fire or firewood that is useful or of a useful size to begin or even sustain a fire. So the basic process of course requires something like a baton to drive your knife whatever size it may be through a piece of wood once again as striking it through the piece of wood. Now this process is pretty basic, pretty straightforward, and it is pretty easy to master, pretty easy to get a handle on, and not only can batoning be used as a means of fire starting or processing wood for fire, another thing I like to use in conjunction with saws is saws and batoning, or using your knife with a baton and a saw, is in crafting. If you're looking to pair down wood very fast to, let's say, shape roughly the handle of a spoon, this is a time where batoning, with its greater deal of accuracy and its still ability to, you know, break off pieces of wood, can not only speed up the process of creating things like spoons or bowls, but it can also be a way to accurately shape and create a handle because you are with accuracy you know cutting off or breaking off pieces of wood and forming things like handles or different shapes or pieces of things that you need it can also be used to assist with making things like dovetail joints you can baton the tip of a knife into a pre-cut dovetail that you made with a saw to create that type of uh, joinery and so batoning has many uses not just merely in the uh, collection or creation of viable firewood but also in the process uh, of crafting whether that be smaller crafts or larger crafts too you can create very large notches in wood using this process too and I have shown that in videos past with things like the Battle War, where I create a very large square of flat notches using just a saw and my knife. So it's definitely a capability that is used in that regard. And lastly, batoning can also be used in the process of felling trees. If you do not have a hatchet, if you do not have, you know, reasonable access to a saw, um, you can also use a baton and a knife to fell trees that are not huge, you're not going to be dropping gigantic trees, but if you are able to tension the tree or you know put tension on that tree and then baton the knife through it, this will be a very efficient and effective way of dropping larger trees or at least you know wrist thick trees that you can turn around and use for shelter projects. So this is another use for batoning that I've also showcased in the past. So some may say, why baton? This would be the reason why. So as always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.